SQL and PLPG SQL. So in this video, we are going to see how to return multiple rows using rep cursor. So here first we will see the concept of the rep cursor. Basically, rep cursor is used to return a multiple rows and used to process a SQL statement. So if you want to process a SQL statement uh, within a procedure or a function, you can use the rep cursor mostly in oracle we can use rep cursors in procedures and in postgres sql we use rep cursors in a function because procedure concept is not there till uh, a version 11 so after version 11 the postgres sql introduced one object that is procedure and uh, there are two types of rep cursors in oracle and these are strong rep cursor and weak rep cursor so strong rep cursor is nothing but uh, here we will uh, return uh, variable and uh, means here we will use a return data type and here we will not return any particular values so this is the difference between uh, strong rep cursor and weak rep cursor so here we will see here i have created one procedure to return a multiple rows from employees table by using rep cursor so the procedure is like create or replace function function name returns rep cursor as uh, dollar begin rep rep cursor so here i have declared rep cursor variable name so variable name is ref and here i have written rep cursor so by uh, so in oracle here we suppose we are uh, using rep cursor then we have to uh, the declare declaration part of the rep cursor is is like uh, type type name is rep cursor so by uh, using that statement we can uh, declare the rep cursor in oracle but in postgres sql here here you just have to write rep the name of that variable and rep cursor so uh, we will open the transaction begin open ref for select star from employees means we are selecting all rows from the employee table return rep cursor so uh, returns we suppose we are returning uh, any particular value uh, and uh, multiple rows so here i have written uh, rep cursor then re here return that variable name is uh, mandatory otherwise procedural uh, pr this function will throw error so here i am going to end the procedure function then again dollar and language spell pg sql so we need to specify the language otherwise this function will th throw the error so here i am going to execute this procedure then i am going to call this procedure by using the select statement so here we will uh, here I am going to call this procedure to return the all columns from the employee table. So here I have uh, I am not going getting the actual result. So they have the procedure has written rep cursor unnamed portal five. So I am copying. I need to copy this content that variable uh, uh, output. So I am again. Uh, going to open this transaction to see the actual result here i am going to fire against the, that procedure so the output of that procedure is rev cursor unnamed portal 6 so by using fetch all in statement we can get the actual output of that procedure so this is the most important if you are uh, using rev cursor and you are returning multiple uh, rows from any particular table then you you can't directly call the procedure instead of uh, using this uh, uh, using this statement you have to uh, begin the transaction then you have to call that procedure then you have to use fetch all in uh, unnamed portal 6 so here i'm going to execute that this statement so here you will get the all rows from that table by using this statement uh, you can return the all columns from that table and here we have to commit uh, because we already open this transaction uh, if we if uh, we uh, do not commit then this will throw the error so we have to commit this transaction so by using this uh, procedure 
we can return a multiple rows from by using the rep cursor and this was the simple uh, uh, concept of the rep cursor so if you like this video please like share and comment and subscribe also thank you